this house it's off grid i placed solar panels wind turbine and i make large roof area to catch a lot of water which is going into the container this house is like a machine for living Everything is moving, uh, you can control it. I like kind of low-tech solutions. The things must be reliable and you need to control them manually. This house, especially interior, is inspired by a sailboat design. For example, this folding bed. So there are three positions. It can be in the surface of, uh, of the wall or sofa, like, like this, or it can be a normal bed. This sailing pulley help you to convert the sofa to the bed without effort. The foldable bed, it's my own design. It's made out of 3 quarter inch plywood. Here you can see there are two hinges and two hinges on the wall side. The bed is connected to the wall by these two hinges. You can help yourself by this pulley to take the bed down from the wall part or make the bed from sofa or reverse. When the bed falls down, these two pieces of plywood will go down and will support the bed in the middle. And pulley helps me go slowly down. I think plywood is very cozy and um, friendly material. It makes a contrast with the exterior. Industrial kind of corrugated steel. This uh, plywood is cheapest one. Normally this plywood we used for boxes to protect something. But we bought this plywood for making all, all furniture. You can see. For me it's quite nice material, I like to work with plywood. Uh, I built this container basically because I wanted to have some experience with uh, container houses. I made a very easy to do foundation. I just removed some soil and put the gravel uh, in that holes and then I place six concrete bricks on it. You can find a lot of articles and even some books on container houses, but direct experience is the best. The design of the container house is quite untouched. It's because I like industrial feeling of the product, of the cladded, or make some uh, changes on the exterior container this con shipping container is high cube it's one feet more than average container then you can insulate it from inside and have a lot of space in the high so it's uh, quite uh, lofty and it took around uh, three months in the summer I built it with my brother who is carpenter. So you can say that two people can build this container in two, three or four months easily. The main advantage of container buildings is that the building can be assembled in the hall or another place where you have the background.
tools, electricity, workers. You can then easily move the finished house to the building plot, into the wild without electricity and other facilities. This is a rainwater which, which come inside uh, throughout uh, filters, so you can use it for washing dishes or a sh in a shower. I have also uh, 24 volts boilers. The kitchen is, is full equipped. Gas stove. We have is 24 volts fridge. You can control the temperature. Now there is seven degrees Celsius. You can go down. All devices in this house are designed mainly for campers or sailing boats and so. For example, this is gas stove with a sink. Under the, this sink is gas bottle. Above is 24 volts heater with hot and cold water. With this cable it's connected with the batteries in the bathroom. Let's show uh, to your bathroom. This is basin. Shower. Very small shower kit. Here is a lot of layers of lacquer. So it's protected against water and humidity. Chemical toilet. If a boiler heater is working, you can control the temperature of water here. So rich. Hot water, cold water. If I move this controller, electric signal comes to the water pump and it moves the water. It's kind of without pressure. Behind this plastic, this is the main brain of all house. You can see two batteries, battery equalizer, under voltage protection, charge controller for solar panels, inverter, which makes from 24 volts 230. So you can use normal devices. Here is 12 volts charger, 230 volts charger. All electrical devices are covered by solar and wind energy. I will show you the app which is connected to this charge controller. You can see voltage, current. You can check how much energy you receive from your solar panels. You can also check the state of the batteries. These small holes, it's a natural ventilation. It's on four places around ventilation. This cable goes to the solar panels and wind turbine. These two cables are going to solar panels. I made also this solar roof structure supporters. What is interesting is that you can move it and change angle of solar panels if needed. I welded this piece of aluminium for the wind turbine. Inside of this tube are cables which go directly to the batteries. This pipe is going to the water tank. And this is kind of unfinished, it's a very DIY from kitchen equipment. But you will catch first pieces from trees and so. Inside of this water tank is small pump. I bought it in a hardware store which is specialized for campers. It's very small, but it works. I have other filter here. It catches small pieces so you can use rainwater in your bathroom and kitchen. This steel structure for holding the tank, it must be very strong because in this tank currently it's full and it weighs one ton, one thousand liters, so it's heavy. Inside of a water tank is small pump. 
which moves the water inside the container, but you can also use this output for our garden. For I will show you kind of low tech devices around. Here is search from sink, basin, shower. It goes now it goes just into the garden. Easy foundation from one, two, three, six concrete bricks. What is interesting is that you can move it if needed. So, uh, interior is made out made out of uh, spruce plywood, but because my my brother is professional. It, looks very very high quality but for amateur you don't need to make kind of round uh, round corners and round holes and these pants are like this smooth move you can see a uh, special shelf with two doors i like the idea of shelves everywhere we made a lot of hangers around so you can hang for example these chairs or I can hang this electric guitar also you will find some in the bathroom and in the kitchen here is folding uh, table DIY folding table absolutely simple Ukáž nám ty plánky, Mikláši. Me and my wife, uh, we are operating a lot of plants. Cabins, uh, plants for cottages, tiny houses. And also for container homes. You have also, of course, uh, layouts for foundations, uh, container, blueprints. Step by step. Low tech design fascinates me a lot. These legs are on the side, so the both pieces of the bed will go together. The equipment must be as reliable as possible. Here is a little hook which holds the bed by wall. And you need to control it manually. I used velcro for attaching the mattress to the plywood. Mechanical parts must be easy to repair. When it's in a bad position, this uh, wood pieces goes in these holes. I consider these to be values that are very rare today. Open terrace lays on uh, two ground screws and one wooden beam. To open it, I need take off this protection against fall this is steel cable so you can buy this steel wheel in every hardware store the steel cable is connected to the strong and stable winch I release the winch like here and now the porch is going down this black plastic is there because I know that the terrace is already down even I'm not seeing it so in the summer you can open both doors main container gate and this aluminum window so the air circulate and cools the interior. Also, you can say you are close to the nature. The interior of the house is connected with, with your garden. They are very tired. They need to sleep. I often thought of my design as a machine for living. This is a concept that was probably invented by the architect Le Corbusier about a hundred years ago.
The design of the house should be maximally functional. Aesthetic qualities then automatically follow from the emphasis on functions. Especially from the outside. The house looks like a machine or a little bit like a strange living creature.